How adventurous an eater are you? No. Would you try a dish mainly made of blood? Or maybe seafood fermented in its guts? We put together a list of some of the most extreme foods. How can Greenland shark meat kill you? Are century eggs really a hundred years old? Which extreme Irish food was a favorite of Henry VIII? Stick around and you might discover some new dishes to try. Number seven, black pudding. Henry VIII ranked black pudding as one of his favorite foods. This sausage sure earns the royal title for the bloodiest food. It's a mix of pig blood, fat, and oatmeal. It's high in protein and iron. Ooh, yummy! Black pudding is particularly important in Irish culture, where they eat it fried or grilled. But this banger has gone international. France and Spain have their versions too. And while recipes in each region vary, blood remains the principal ingredient. It's not bad. Number six, stuffed moose heart. What? I thought we were moving on from bloody dishes. Ah. This Alaskan and Canadian delicacy is exactly what it sounds like. A moose heart the size of an American football gets stuffed with celery, onion, and some spices. Diners praise the flavor of moose heart when it's grilled or stewed. It consists of dark meat on the outside and a delicate smooth texture inside. It's so huge that a stuffed moose heart can feed a small family. May I have the salt? Number five, deep fried butter balls. Just cover butter balls in breadcrumbs and fry them in a hot tub of oil. I'm not sure if your arteries would appreciate it, but your taste buds might. Roasted butter recipes trace back to the 1600s, but they gained popularity in the US in the early 2000s when celebrities like Oprah Winfrey started trying the delicacy on national television. Nowadays, butter balls are a staple of American food culture worldwide. Fried butter balls can be described as inside-out pancakes, making them a unique and extreme oh breakfast God. alternative. Number four, century eggs. Century eggs are chicken, duck, or quail eggs fermented for a century. Okay, it's only for a few weeks or months, but it can seem like a century if you're really, 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 really hungry. These fermented eggs have a creamy texture and a delicate flavor. The legend is that century eggs were discovered during China's Ming Dynasty, which lasted from 1368 to 1644. Some duck eggs got left in a slime lake pool for a long time, and the brave person who found them decided to try eating them. Only happy accidents here. Number three, how Carl. Making this dish from Greenland is quite an experience. First, you must catch and kill a Greenland shark. Then find a sandy spot in the beach to dig a hole, bury your shark, and let it ferment for about three months. Then you dig it up, cut it up, hang it, and let it cure. And no, you can't eat the fresh meat, even if you're too hungry to wait. Greenland sharks are the most toxic sharks on Earth. Eating this meat fresh could kill you due to its high ammonia content. Most people describe Halkarl as smelling like feet or gym clothes, and the taste isn't exactly delicious. <coughs> Greenlanders don't commonly eat this food anymore. Nowadays, it's a tourist attraction. <laughs> Number two, shiokara. Shiokara is another food that needs fermenting and in its viscera. Yep, that's its stomach, intestines, and all that good stuff. This traditional Japanese food can be made of tuna, crab, or salmon. But the most popular form of shiokara is made from a small squid found off the coast of Japan. In some places in Japan, eating shiokara is considered a culinary achievement. And number one, kiviak. And the award for the most extreme food goes to kiviak. This is a traditional food discovered by Inuit people in Greenland. Its main ingredient is a bird called the auk. 
you'll need to make kiviak in the spring. Stuff a greased sealskin bag with 500 dead ox and bury the bag underground. Remember to put a rock on top, then dig it up in the wintertime. Strip the skin and feathers off the birds, and now you can eat their raw insides, which are like a fermented soup of meat and bone. Whew, man, that was extreme. But wait until you taste this maggot-filled cheese. Do you want to know why people love it? Click on the next episode of Origins of Food.